is drinking milk good for you as galactose can cause glycation? No, that's bullshit. It can't. Like galactose ends up in the liver and gets converted. It goes through the um, portal vein straight into the liver and gets converted into glycogen or glucose and let it into the bloodstream. So, no, it is not possible. Now, as far as what A1C goes, um, fructose and galactose will not come up in an A1C test. The difference is fructose can circulate in the system where galactose goes straight to the liver and gets converted to glycogen and glucose through a four-stage enzymatic pathway in the liver. So, no. It's not the same. And it's not the same. It's not a glue. You know, um, lactose has got one is 50% galactose, 50% glucose. But the galactose, as I said, turns ultimately to glucose, where fructose turns to fat in the liver. So completely different animal. It just won't register on, you know, and it, it's, its structure is different, so it doesn't have the same glycating effect. But it just, see, the, the A1C test that everybody's been talking about because of Salad Boy, Saladino, the A1C test is all about the sensitivity of the test. The test is designed to detect glucose glycation, nothing else. That means the glucose molecule. So it takes the red blood cells and says, how many glucose molecules are bound to that? So many. That's your A1C. Okay? Now, galactose in the system or fructose in the system are not going to, don't have the same affinity for this test. So they're not going to be picked up. But as I said, fructose is an issue and highly glycating where galactose is not highly glycating. It just doesn't get picked up in this test. But as I said to people, show me one study that shows that galactose actually is highly glycating, like glucose. I haven't heard anyone yet come back to me on that one, and I don't think I will in TL, because it would be, it would make sense. If that's the case, why are we having centenarians who are basically Maasai? Can somebody explain that to me? And many other populations that were most of the centenarians amongst agri pastoralists who consumed quite a lot of meat, um, dairy-based products. So the answer again would be no. That is not an issue. But obviously I don't want people to, to be consuming excess amount of milk sugars either. You know, so but if you're having two two glasses of milk um, a day, you know it's probably about five hundred. That's five fours, about twenty grams all up. So you're probably getting about eighteen to twenty grams of uh, of carbs. That's still in a state of ketosis, not an issue. That's what the the Maasai do with with blood, two cups, maybe three. Even then, it'd still be around below around the 25 mark or 27 mark or whatever. Still, most people would be in low-grade ketosis. So pretty much irrelevant um, in that regard for the amount. We're talking about like hundreds and hundreds of grams, um, which is a problem. A small, minute amount isn't going to bust the bank, so to speak. So I wouldn't get too concerned because then we become reductionist in that sort of thinking. There is a threshold in terms of, um, uh, you know, these things. And if you're basically taking galactose and turning it into glycogen or releasing it as glucose because the body requires it, because you're in this low-carb state, so it can release some into the bloodstream, no different than gluconeogenesis will produce. It just means less gluconeogenesis. It's only when you exceed a certain level threshold, that's when you actually start raising insulin. Then you turn off certain other things like hormone-sensitive lipase so you can't access um, body fat. And then 
you either have a hypoglycemic shock, stuff like that, um, or then you start having issues, you know, or if you can't do certain things, or if you have excess amounts, then you're getting your energy from another, from that source, which is a negative, not a good source, a high deuterium source. So, but in general, milk sugar is much lower in deuterium compared to, it's just the way it's constructed. I'll tell you another thing that's actually lower in deuterium as well, legumes. The only plant foods that have got much lower deuterium um, are legumes. So, you know, so even though some of the Mediterranean people have those um, and remove some of the anti-nutrients by fermenting them and doing all these sort of things, 